So this morning, I posted my new top 25 after week five is over, and Josh asked a very good question here. He says, I don't get why Iowa dropped preseason number three Oregon down to eight after some bad games, but when Penn State and Miami had bad games, they barely moved. Please explain the logic, and I'm so happy to. First of all, I can't defend the AP top 25 rankings for the preseason, but here are my preseason rankings going in, and I think this can provide some important context. But before I start, I just want you guys to acknowledge that I only dropped Oregon from number four to number eight. I moved Penn State up one spot to number seven, and I moved Miami from 22 to number seven. Okay, here we go. If we are going to compare these three teams, Oregon has looked by far the least impressive. Things look really rocky against Idaho. They barely hung on to beat Boise State on a last second field goal, and Indiana beat UCLA by a better margin than Oregon did, so there's just not a really a whole lot to say here other than what we think Oregon could be. Let's give credit where credit is due. Oregon really showed out against Oregon State in the rivalry game. As far as Penn State goes, they've mostly taken care of business, minus that Bowling Green game. Those wins over Illinois and West Virginia have looked better than what Oregon has done this year. I think they have made up for that performance against Bowling Green. And as far as Miami goes, they have torched everybody that they have played except for Virginia Tech on Friday night. One of the reasons I'm so high on Miami specifically is because they have a top 25 offense and defense. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my Fabulous 4 video I posted just a little bit ago. Overall, you could rank Penn State, Miami, and Oregon any way you want, and I really want to get too mad. 